we have now after our, our bit of longer segments, uh, we get to pick and choose a couple delicacies off of the various sports. And I want to start across the pond with the uh, football transfer window. And it has led to, of course, many, many transactions. Uh, the first two I want to highlight are Romelu Lukaku headed to Chelsea today and uh, Jack Grealish moving on to Manchester City. Two big moves there, guys who should have some success with some big British clubs. But the news, of course, the big news is Lionel Messi. Signed a huge contract with Barcelona after last year. Many reports saying that he was unhappy and was going to ask out of the uh, organization at the end of his contract. But no, he was loyal. He's been there for many, 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 many years. I believe 21 years in total. And signed a contract, took a pay cut, but still obviously a massive deal to return. And just this week, La Liga, the league that Barcelona plays in, announced that their salary cap or their wage limit was going to be decreased. And that was due to a lot of teams suffering from the financial strain of the pandemic uh, for obvious reasons. And in doing so, they have handicapped themselves into a position where they are unable to afford Messi's contract, even at a 50% salary reduction, which is what Messi said in his past press conference that he would have taken. They still could not fit it under the wage limit. And so one of the greatest football players of all time, and again, one of the most loyal players, this is truly like Steph Curry leaving Golden State or Sidney Crosby leaving the Pittsburgh Penguins, if those guys had played even 10 years longer than they already have now, because Messi started in their youth system. Forever, he's been a part of this organization. He can no longer stay. Really, really emotional press conference uh, uh, today. And he's headed now to Paris Saint-Germain which is going to be an absolutely uh, lethal offensive football club in this upcoming season with Messi, Neymar, Kylian Mbappe, Angel Di Maria. They're going to score at a prolific pace, which will be really, really fun. But for those fans of, of Barcelona and basically all of the other massive clubs in European football, it is going to be... Uh, a weird sight for sure, and, and maybe not everyone's favorite. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing the electric football that these guys can play. No matter what your opinion on them is as a team with uh, some of the showboating, some of the toxic culture, they are still extremely talented individuals. And maybe Messi will bring some of his wholesome vibes to that team and help them become a much more enjoyable club to watch. This is earthquake news. Uh, it doesn't hit the same way over here in North America that it would, but this is huge news that's shaking the football world, and it's going to completely change the landscape for next season of Champions League, of the uh, French League, of Barcelona's chances in their league. And after this three-year contract is up with Paris Saint-Germain, where will Messi go next? Now he knows he can leave Barcelona. Could we see him come to the MLS for his retirement party? Who knows? But um, it is going to be strange seeing him don the uh, the blue jersey next season in uh, France's capital. 